Well, welcome back to Denver 7 Sports, brought to you by Ramos Law. It's official. There is no denying it. You can't escape it. March Madness is here, and it's real in Northwest Denver. The Regis women's basketball team beat Colorado School of Mines last night to claim the RMAC tournament crown for the first time in 16 years. They also won the regular season title as well. And now, on to bigger and better things. Our Nick Rothschild paid a visit to Regis and found out the turnaround to tournament champions took more than hard work on the basketball court. A year ago, uh, this is what I expect the home gym looked like for the Regis women's basketball team. Fairly empty. The Rangers didn't have a great season. They weren't picked to have a great season this year as well, but now here they are hosting the RMAC tournament headed towards a likely NCAA tournament berth. So how did they turn it around? Well, they installed what we're calling a culture of caring. Student athletes are humans first. Sam Deem was seeking connection in a college program when she transferred from DU. Somebody who I cared about um, as a person and somebody who I knew cared about me back. She found that person in Regis Hall of Famer, Molly Marin. It's more than basketball here. Marin cares deeply for her team. But to get this group to really connect, she needed to inject vulnerability. Being willing to say, hey, I messed up here, and uh, to be more vulnerable in a leadership position as a coach, because I think sometimes we think we have to have all the answers, and we don't. Um, so I think just being me being more human um, has allowed them the grace to do, to do so as well. So that's kind of been a goal of mine. Vulnerability became connection. Connection turned to love, and love snowballed into the Rangers' best season in 16 years. Basketball, obviously, is what we're all here to do and what is important to us, but we have to care about each other outside of basketball in order for basketball to, to work. Junior Aaron Fry found new life through this culture of caring. No, I've done a complete 360. You could say it, yes. She went from being an afterthought a season ago to the RMAC Player of the Year. MVP, MVP, MVP. Coming to this season, um, I wanted to take on like a leadership role. I told my coach that I, um, I want to lead this team to something great. I worked every day in, in, the, um, in the gym, in the weight room, to help get myself in the position to play long minutes, to push through fatigue, to do whatever is needed out there on the court. And um, yeah, I've, I've worked for it. <laughs> They put in the work on and off the court. We knew things were going to change. Now, they're reaping the success they sowed. We're living that dream right now. Even if it comes with slight obsession? They don't hang out with anybody else. Like, they need to get friends. This bond, forged through adversity and carefully cultivated, looks primed to lift the Rangers to new heights. So when you enjoy being around people and truly like love each other, that's to me is, is the piece of it. When you have captains or upperclassmen saying, no, that's not how we do things here. Just the, the player led piece of it. I think that has led to the results. Reporting at Regis. Hey, we're in this to, to win a championship. We're in this to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick Rothschild, Denver 7 Sports. The locker room celebration scenes are the absolute best. So, that NCAA D2 bracket, it was released tonight. Regis is a three seed. We'll take on five seed Black Hill State in round one. And Colorado School of Mines, they're in as well. The Ore Diggers are a four seed. They'll take on UT Tyler in the first round.